Hello, is anybody home? Let me see if I can adjust my... Hmm, there maybe, let's see. I know I am, I'm technical with this new... Now, how did Christopher have that yesterday? Hmm. Oh, that's right, I have to have the other board up under there. Let's see, are you home? Hello, welcome to the kitchen of Love and Light. We're, myself and the butternut are fixing to make something, so I thought you would come along. But I wanted to tell you something, and um, my lighting's not that good in here. To, look, I'm gonna get it together, I promise, and I'm even gonna have like a music intro. Yes, I am. Hey, friends, how are y'all? I'll bring you close because I can't reach you, I really can't. So anyway, I wanted to just show you something because I'm fixing to do a fantastic session with somebody, um, yes, and then somebody else, and then somebody else. And I've already had a smoothie, and then I'm planning on another smoothie, which is in the fridge waiting on me. And then a little bit later, I will have some grapefruit and greens, either celery, or I will have some of this romaine back here. I don't know if y'all see it. But this romaine is super crispy. Anyway, and then tonight I'm gonna have my dinner ready because I might have a phone call later and I wanna be available for that, something's going on. So anyway, um, I wanted to tell you this. First of all, I wanna show you about making butternut squash. If you're not used to doing that, first of all, what you wanna do, butternut squash come like this. Okay, obviously I've already hacked this one up because I did that before. I thought, hey, I could be showing my friends this. So they come like this, you know, and they have a cap. Like, see, it's like a puzzle now, look, okay? You see? But, <laughs> I know it's professional. The point is this, what you wanna do is not use the seated part down here. See, I will cut this off and even use a little bit more, but I wanted to show you making noodles from this cylinder. Can you eat these raw? Well, I don't know if you can, but I've been doing it for probably 13 years, so bam. Um, you can get these on sale a lot of times this time of year. Now what you want to do is peel off the skin, which is, and you want this to be very flat on each end like a can, you know, make it flat. So anyway, when you peel off the skin, it's pretty easy to do if you have one of these. This is a Titan brand peeler. You can get these at Bed and Bath, Walmart, lots of places now. This one might not be show presenting ready, but anyway, let me show you what they look like. So, they look like this. Obviously, they're the Titan brand peeler. This is your veggie peeler, and this is a julienne peeler. Now, this is really good for making noodles out of things that are hard to put on spiralizer, like cucumbers, carrots, parsnips, things like that. You can get this for about $12 now. This is not your grandma's peeler, okay? You need to have one of these. So anyway, what you want to do is, obviously I've already skinned this, but what you wanna do is gently, okay? Don't, obviously firm, but don't dig it too hard and you just gently go down and it gives a very, very thin skin off, you know? So anyway, that's what you do with that. And then I'm fixing to show you the, this is my favorite spiralizer. This is by the, I believe it's um, OXO, or either it's XOX. I threw away the, um, the box. But anyway, I got this, oh, it's OXO. Looks like this, okay? It comes with these, which are some other attachments. It's really easy to change the attachments. You just slide them in and out right here. Anyway, and basically it suctions to your countertop, you see, which I'm gonna try to get you in a position where I can show you that in a minute, but anyway, Really good. This is the best one I've ever used. I've had a lot of them that were like, um, I believe the first one I had was by like Chef Chin or something like that. But anyway, you, it was like you you turned it from the top and it was very tedious. And then I've also had a, um, what was that second kind I had? Anyway, it was the one everybody had for a long time. This one uh, is really my favorite. It's easy to clean up. I don't find it losing its sharpness or anything. Okay, then... After we do that, I want to show you this. Now, yesterday, if you joined me for my YouTube live here, and if you didn't, you can check that out. At the first of that very long video where I'm yapping about my personal life, okay, is I was showing you this dressing, which this is the remnants of it. Doesn't that look beautiful? See how this is only a half pint container, and it looks big when I do it like that, you know, but it's really, as you see, I mean, it's like, it's small, okay? 
It's not even as big as the top of a bathing suit triangle. Anyway, so what I did was I had a little bit of that dressing when I went out yesterday. It was much more dense. But I didn't eat that much because I was, um, I mean, I did, but I didn't eat all my dressing. And I was just engaged in conversation and, and eye gazing and that kind of thing. So anyway, um, when I got home, I had about half that dressing left. So I put it in this container and I put a little bit of water in there and did a shake. Okay, but I want to bulk this up now. Now yesterday, the point in that video was that I showed you taking apple cider vinegar, taking a little bit of tahini, which is a sesame seed nut butter, a little bit of herbs, um, two dates, and this is wakame seaweed, which will give you the salty punch. And my point with yesterday's video was showing you how to make a dance dressing so that you can bring it along and not look like you're like, hey, I got my dressing like a freak, like be petite about it. You know what I'm saying? Be a lady, be ladylike. So anyway, um, that's what I did. So that video is over there from yesterday. And at the first, somebody probably transcribed it below like my friends of love and light usually do. So it's there for you. But anyway, so I have this here. But what I want to do today is take the remnants, the rest of this dressing leftover, which will be about half of that. I used two tablespoons of tahini in that recipe so i have my tahini out here in case i want to add a little more that would be a little shy of what i would normally eat for the fat in my dressing to give me about a 10 percent fat ratio for my day which is where i ride high so anyway um, we might add a little bit of that but what i want to tell you is we're going to take this and what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a more voluminous dressing. Therefore, it's going to moisten the butternut noodles. And if you wanted to, because it's only it's only 12 o'clock here, it really is. The day's just begun. And so what you could do is you could put this in a shallow platter. I'll tell you something like, um, where's that thing? Oh, here it is. Look, something like this is really good. See how that's like very slim? I've got some other containers that are, um, Pampered chef that are really small that are good for that. The point is, you put it in there and you take out your bottom tray in your dehydrator if you have an Excalibur. Take out your bottom tray. You set it on about 110 degrees, okay? And what you do is you make sure the butternut noodles, whatever noodles you have, are very moist by your sauce. And you put it in there and you let them limp up, limp the noodle. You know what I'm saying, girls? And so therefore, it's going to be easy to digest later and easy to eat and a little warm if it's if it's cold outside, which it's not here today. But anyway, so um, let's do that first. Let's um, well, let's make the noodles first, shall we? So what I'm going to and see then I'm going to have my noodles. I'm going to have this the rest of this arugula. I'm going to have these um, cherry tomatoes and the butternut. So that will be fantastic. I'm going to have. See, the key to success is this, planning ahead, right? Planning ahead. Don't wait until you're so ravenous that the food is choosing you and you're not choosing it, right? I mean, it goes to, it, it's like that across the board, you know? I mean, you don't want to be in a desperate state of situation where you just let other things do the choosing when you know it wasn't right for you, right, girls? So anyway, let's look at this, and I'm going to see if I can tip up. See? I'm sorry, this is just the experimental show right now, but I wanted Christopher to be up, but he's not. Let's see if we can, can you see that? Let's see here. All right. So I just cleaned off this countertop because what you, oh, here you are. So what you want is a nice clean surface and something that the suction is going to suction to, okay? So um, anyway, you're gonna put this right here and you're going to suction it down, hold on. Okay, see that right there? It's very firm, all right? Hey, Mickey, how are you? Don't be a puppet for the puppeteer, for real, girl. I am digging what you're saying. I'm picking up with your land, and I don't know if you all saw Mickey and Maritza in New York City. <laughs> I, was, I was really loving that. I was living vicariously. So I'll tell you this right now. What, you're, what we're doing is we're putting the flat part. This is why I told you to get it flat. You want to get the teeth, the, the pokey things, in the end. And then there is a hole right here that kind of juts out. Almost like a little knife that's a poking in. So you want to really get in that in the middle. And I'm going to warn you about this. You, you might think, oh, that looks like you're, you're taking a lot of muscles or whatever. 
sun is outside. What? Anyway, I'm sorry. So, um, the point is this. Uh, they're coming over. Somebody's helping me in the yard today, and, and he must be a guy that, um, that knows these people. Like, he's worked at the lady's yard when she lived here that passed away. So, anyway, they're speaking to him. That's nice, isn't it? Anyway, so, um, the point is this. Butternuts are one of the hardest things to spiralize. I have spiralized potatoes on this, sweet potatoes, and made sweet potato fries for a little baby, curly fries. That was quite brilliant. But anyway, so understand if it looks like a struggle. It may not, but if it does, this is one of the hardest things to spiralize. So I'm just saying, it's a good machine. So um, anyway, you have your pusher over here, and you're going to push, and you have to get it going, okay? Y'all see this? yesterday so I put a little water in there put it in. Oh, it smells so good I think I'll put just a little more nut butter because I want to make sure I actually see better that I have enough fat for later you'll notice this is frozen it's kind of frozen now but anyway we'll just put, we'll put about a tablespoon because I want to make sure I get my fat in why would I want to do that? Because I want to have, first of all, a good libido. This is essential when you're a granny. Number two, I want to have good hair, good skin, and good nails, right? So get your fat in. Not too much. Everything you need, nothing you don't. You know what I mean? So anyway, we've got that. Then, like I said, we're going to bulk it up. So this is about a cup of celery over here, okay? I know you're impressed with the preach, y'all. I know you are. She's got it going on today. Okay, now. I tell you what's coming out, and I'm going to be coveting this thing until I get it when it comes out. It might be out now, and if it is, just don't tell me because it's Christmas time. And I'm one of those people when you go, I, I really don't buy a lot of things, but when I go shopping, I'm like, oh, one for you and one for me. You know, that's how I do. Anyway, let me bring out, let me turn y'all over here now. Let's see. Friends, I am, I know you're excited that you can actually see something. It is ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Can you see? You can. Okay. So anyway, now, I see friends. Hey, I'm going to see what y'all are saying in a minute. Anyway, so we've got our dressing. This is perfect. See, very dense. Um, I might 
I could add a little bit more water, probably not though. Because what I want to do is make sure I have good noodle coverage, right? Duh. Now, so what we have is our butternut squash noodles. Now, to really get these covered good, as you see, look, that butternut, first of all, is organic. I got it on sale because it was on the clearance table of, it's called Ugly Table, which are my best friend of produce because it's produce that needs to be eaten today and I need to eat today, it's a perfect match. So anyway, what you could do if you really want to get these covered super good is you could just chop into them with your kitchen scissors, okay? It just makes it a little easier for Tandy TV when you don't want to wait on me to mix this that good. And I'll tell you what else is good if you hold on, let me see this bad man again. Now, <clears throat> this is a mixing bowl, okay? So you have your mixing bowl. friend last night at dinner I was he was like yes yeah. so I was checking out your videos and I was and he was like I was looking at peephole into to tanny roll or whatever and I was like so yeah like I know my production could be like way higher but I I frankly just had to think about that and I was like you know what I really just think that it matters more what I have to say and I I don't know why I think that but I really do it's like can we not just can we not be authentic? Does everything have to be? I want to be perfectly imperfect. Let me be that. So anyway, here we have the noodles. Okay, obviously large, right? Then we've got our sauce. I could have probably put a little more water. Maybe not. Somebody asked me how come my Vitamix is so clean. vinegar and a little bit of baking soda and put it in there with a little bit of warm water. Put it on its base and whiz it some so it gets really clean, right? I can't wait to 
this in his hair. It's like I have company. It's like a puppet show, and like you see me, but I'm really like down there, and, and this is just my talking hand, you know? That's what it's like. Okay, so now let's have, I know what y'all wonder if my hands are clean. I don't know if they are or not, but <laughs> they're clean. And even if they're not, here's the thing about me. I'm really not, you know what, even though I have OCD, I'm not a germ phobe. I'm really not. And, uh, oh my gosh, this is epic. I can't even get it all on this platter. This platter's big, friends. Uh, I did see some mangoes over at Lidl a little while ago that were the champagne. They look like little partridges, you know, from the partridge family. When it comes on the cartoon in the beginning. And, uh, my gosh, this is, this is insanity right here. Do y'all like this bottle? I got this at a yard sale the other day. Carter said, like, really? I said, don't be jealous. I'm sorry, but... <clears throat> you know what? You really can't have it all at once. You know what I mean? But you can have it all. I mean, maybe it's not your season in your life, Carter, that you have the giant mixing bowl, but it is mine, so that's how it goes. Now, we're going to put some of these on because, see, I didn't want that right there. And another thing is, would I be plating it up like this if I wasn't going to show it on Instagram? Uh, yeah, these days I would because I appreciate myself and I want to show myself love by, by plating up beautiful food because I deserve that. I really do. And um, so anyway, I had, an, I, had a, uh, I had a date and he was very interested in hearing about um, eating healthy. And um, I was really trying not to talk about it. He kept on going back to that. And, then he told me he went to the grocery store, he sent me a little text, and he said, yeah, everything I got, but um, what did he say, God? He bought eggs or something. He's like, everything else was fruits and veggies, and he was like wanting a cheerleading party about that, and I was all about giving him one, too, because that was exciting. And, uh, yeah. So then, if you wanted to really just kick up the flavor, you could put a little bit extra seaweed. Come on, this is how you do it. Her like, oh, it takes so long. Whatever. Like, I am not even in a hurry because I'm talking to y'all. And somebody's going to say that looks like ants. Looks like salt to me. Okay. Want to put anything else? Let's see what else. I'm going to add some more seasoning. What kind was this? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Some garlic and herbs on there. Come on. <laughs> and then what you do, you're like, hey, look, look at it. Do y'all see? Look at it. Let me come closer. There you go. I cooked. <laughs> anyway, let me get you and I'll see what you're saying and um, then I'll get on with this day. Let's see. Hold still. All right. So this is why you always make sure your counters are, because you never know when you're gonna need to sit up there, right? Oh, what are y'all doing? All day in the kitchen, huh? I know. And I mean, do y'all did y'all get a good look at that? Like, could you see? Look, I'm gonna eat all that myself. Look at it, Tanya. You starve yourself. You, you must be anorexic. I, I I know. Like I eat no food. Like this. I know. I, I don't know how I'll, I'll survive on this at, for one meal tonight. I really don't. You coming over? <gasps> I would love it. Hey, Jocelyn. What are you doing, beautiful? Anyway, so, um, what else was I going to tell you about that? So, yeah, I went to see the Nutcracker yesterday. It was very fancy, and, um, yeah. And then, like, I was up a lot of the night because I was trying to, like, I was trying to convince myself something was wrong with this situation, and it really, <laughs> it really doesn't seem like there is, so. Do y'all like this whole this whole dating series? I, I could do a whole dating series about about dating online now, and I could be talking about that because it is funny. It really is. Um, but what else I want to say? Oh, so yeah, we're gonna go out to lunch one day, and um, he works sometimes third shift during the week. So y'all <laughs> do some don't so dating online. Y'all. Anyway, so I just wanted to tell you that, and I wanted to show you my beautiful food, and um, I guess that's all. I just wanted to hang out and connect and, and tell you I love you. I really do. So, um, yes, one thing I need in my kitchen is 
I need to see my computer now. It doesn't like to move. It can, but there's like, I don't know how to hook it back up. Christopher gets annoyed with me. And, um, you know, when I ask him stuff about technology, it's like if somebody asked me, um, so where do you get your protein? That's, that's how he acts. I'm like, son, you only told me one time. He's like, well, did you not write it down? Where's your notes? I'm like, it's true. I did, I did, but I can't find them, son. I, I threw it away. It was an extra paper, and you know I like things neat. He's like, well, this is not my problem. I mean, he has no sympathy, none. Nah. Anyway, so it's bright and cheery in here, Jocelyn. And um, what else was I going to tell you was, oh, yes, so we need some music. I don't want to move my computer, which is where I used to have music, and I would dance and all. But um, now we need some music in here. I just need a jam box is what I need. And what I need is one of those big ones that I would put on my shoulder, you know, and, and I would do a little beatbox. And did y'all know that I could do that? <laughs> oh, the talents. I know they're coming out of my ears, but yet none of them can you make any money at. You really can't. <laughs> anyway, so um, eat all the veggies, will you? And remember, greens make you lean. And, um... Yeah, get your raw food on. And, and I'll be seeing you next time from the kitchen of love and light. Bye. <laughs>